Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title and the thumbnail picture, this is not my regular coupon related video. I wanted to share my experience, and yes, you may hear my baby playing in the background. Uh, I wanted to share my experience so far with infant eczema. And I've had many questions and I've had to do Googling and talk to my family doctor and a pediatrician. And so I thought I could share some of this in case somebody else is going through it, but as well, um, if somebody has comments for me or suggestions, they can put it below that might help me. But I will say, first of all, there are some pretty graphic images that if this bothers you, just click off the video. As well, uh, only positive, helpful comments below, please, because um, we all have our own opinions when it comes to medicine and vaccinations and uh, things like that. So I'm sharing this to be helpful. So if your comments aren't intended to be helpful, then there's no need to leave them. <laughs> So for the first two months of my baby's life, he had very um, common, regular infant skin. You know, it was clear and then some days had a little bit of that baby acne or some little spots or imperfections, but overall it was uh, healthy and smooth. And um, so around two and a half months old, you can probably hardly tell, but looking back, I can tell, he was starting to get some little red spots that again, at the time I chalked it up to, you know, that baby acne or baby spots that they commonly get. Um, but as we went into around three months old, those spots turned into more of blotches and very red and dry and they look sore. And I would notice it was going down um, onto his neck and chest. But again, I thought, well, he I'll just start putting a bib on him because he's super drooly. And I thought that would take care of it. So he's, again, you can see on his forehead, he was getting more dry and redder and kind of flakier. And I thought I better make a doctor's appointment. But my family doctor at that point said I was doing everything that I could. I told him that I was using uh, Johnson & Johnson, the baby oil gel, because I thought it might be more intense than just regular lotion. And he said, yes, keep him moisturized. And he actually told me to bathe him less, um, that as little as possible. So I went with that and then then pretty much the next day after seeing my doctor, my son just kept looking worse and worse and getting redder. And I just thought this moisturizing of, you know, baby lotion and gel, it's not doing the trick. So I went to Shoppers Drug Mart looking for an over-the-counter baby eczema lotion. But the pharmacist gave me this here, this uh, La Roche Posse, I think you call it. And it was a small sample. And although he looked like this afterwards um, so he's quite a bit redder but he f seemed like he felt relief so after I finished the free sample the pharmacist gave me I didn't purchase a bottle of that brand because it is quite expensive and I wasn't happy enough with it to uh, spend that kind of money but after doing some research the Aveeno baby eczema care kept being the main uh, suggestion. So I did print a coupon from Healthy Essentials to help cut down the cost slightly uh, and we just continued to use that and you know as the weeks went on he began looking like this. This was around I think the first week of January in this um, this past January and I thought there's no way that this is just something we have to get through. I don't get it. So I brought him back to the doctor and at this point I was told he actually had impetigo on top of his eczema. The doctor explained that likely because he'd had a small cold that his runny nose would have had bacteria that infected an open um, sore like when his eczema had flared up and you know the skin is cracked and open and lets in bacteria. So he prescribed these two medications. Um, the tube one was for the actual infection and then the other one was to help a bit with the redness. So he began looking sort of like he'd had the chicken pox but he was happy and he really didn't even notice so within days he looked like this and honestly i felt so happy for him his skin seemed like comfortable again and it's not even on a um cosmetic level it's on that level that i know he's in pain when he's all flared up and dry and itchy 
But literally within 48 hours of stopping the medication that I was told to use for seven days, he went back to looking like this. He even had spots on the top of his head and at the back of his head that looked like this, so sore and would ooze and be crusty. So I went back to my doctor and he said I could use it for another week. So just as fast as he healed up, he went back to looking beautiful again and pain-free. And then sure enough though, within those 48 hours of stopping, he's back to being all flared up. And so I knew that at that point, it's like I had, he was depending on the medicine. So my doctor did say, now I was going to need to be um, sent to a pediatrician. So while I waited a few weeks for the pediatrician appointment, I discovered Eucerin lotion and it's what works for us even still today. I really like this and there's a coupon available um, on WebSaver. But when I finally saw the pediatrician, he recommended I give my baby a bath in this Aveeno, the oatmeal packets. I use half a packet and pretty much daily where it was kind of the opposite of what I had been doing. I'd been staying away from water, but this I guess helps moisturize him without drying like soap and um, then that way when I lotion him up afterwards it really soaks it all in. Now the pediatrician did see him on a particularly bad day so he did prescribe a 10-day steroid an oral medication that's in the brown bottle and uh, he reassured me that for 10 days this would have no effect on him that yes if you continued with something like this it would um, affect their development and their growth so we used that and um, he started to look like him again he also prescribed one lotion for his face and one for his body and I will say since that 10 day steroid his body pretty much went back to normal like it got it all in check so I've used his body lotion literally twice since March and then the face one it says you can use up to four times a day. So you can see here, this is what he looks like on some days, and some days he's just got a bit of the redness around his mouth, and that's when I use the face cream, which is basically a hydrocortisone, a 1%. But just as a side note, if you buy a uh, hydrocortisone cream yourself, this 1% tube at Costco is only $5 over the counter, so it's actually cheaper for me to not go and get the prescription, have to pay the dispensing fee, just the way it worked out. So he has, it's not at all like it was, but he does have good days and bad days. I do not know his triggers yet because he was so young he's was only eating really like baby food and he's breastfed so that being said i was told babies with eczema are more susceptible to both asthma and food allergies and um again you can see here he has those good days and bad days where it's generally around his mouth uh, but he did try an egg for the first time a couple weeks ago and we ended up at the hospital so that's a whole different story but it, he's, we're waiting on an allergist appointment. Um, but so, I mean, f in my case, yes, it is true. Uh, that's his wrist there I'm showing just, that's actually very recent. So even though he might have a really clear face, he still does sometimes in the creases of his body. I have to put some, uh, that's where I put the eucerin. I try to stay away from the hydrocortisone as much as I can. This is why if you have any suggestions on natural things I can do to help the flare-ups, um, because although to keep him pain-free, I do use that cream, uh, but I try not to use it every single day. But just to go back about the allergy thing, I'm hoping he doesn't develop asthma uh, or any other food allergies and I'm really hoping he even outgrows eczema because the pediatrician did say 50% um, <laughs> of children do. Uh, so I'm hoping so, but at the same time, he already with the reaction he had to eggs, he's kind of falling into that category at this point. So I hope you found some of this information helpful. It's really just my experience. And again, the purpose of sharing it is because if you're questioning, if you have a baby and you're wondering what's going on with their skin, or maybe you suffer from eczema yourself, then you know what, you could share some information with me, or hopefully it, I've just encouraged someone to either make sure they 
are a little pushier with their doctor or go see a pediatrician or get some answers for yourself because it is difficult to see your baby in pain. And at least now I'm aware how careful I have to be concerning um, the open crack skin when he has a flare-up because the impetigo is a separate infection itself. And that's very, you know, it's upsetting to see your baby that way. But thank you for watching and I hope uh, some of this information was helpful.